Good afternoon, diecast enthusiasts, friends. May I call you that? I think so. Uh, today I've got a mega box um, from Mix Sixty Seven. I mean, the guy's gone completely over the top this time, as he does from time to time, and uh, he gets it in return from me. But um, I'm giving him the lead on this one. I've got to when you see what I've got. But in front here. This is specifically for Tim Bennett and then indirectly for other friends. Fireman Food, David Johns, Diecast Dude. What I've got in front of me is Tim's friendship package. Tim, I cannot send this to you at the moment. Um, you've got the two free packs that you know about. You've got the Citroen 2CV Dolly, which you requested. If I just move these out of the way. Just quickly, as quick as I can. And there's four, four of them which you have no idea what they are. But as you can see from the box, no rev. We don't get these in the United Kingdom. I have to send abroad for them. Uh, I've got you four different models. I said I'd get you some, I promised you some. But uh, I spoke to Mick67 this morning and he informed me that he went to send the parcel off to Fireman Food and they can't do it. They've suspended all, um, all international parcels, I'm afraid. So there'll be nothing coming to you anytime soon. I've just shown you what I've got here. Took it out of the box. Uh, at least you know it's real. And I'm not telling any porky pies. I do apologise. Fireman food. Uh, your parcel's been in transit for over a week. You should get that. Diecast dude. I sent you a nice box off Saturday morning. That might not have moved while well Monday morning. And it's only Tuesday today. And the same goes for David Johns. Uh, your parcel went along with dude Saturday morning. So hopefully you two guys will get yours. Fireman, you should definitely get yours from Mick. I know you've just received yours from me. Tim, very sorry. Uh, you know it's there. You know it'll be safe. Uh, and until things change, then I do apologise. I'm on day two of four off work. The sun is blazing here for a change. It's lovely. Um, but I've not been isolated from work. All our office staff have. Um, automation, engineers, engineers. They're allowed home. We're not. Um, I'm hoping the government brings pressure to bear on them. I'd hate to say profit over people. But we know how the world really works. And this only shows it. So anyway. That said, let's do some frigging cars, eh? Let's cheer ourselves up. Let's keep making these videos. Let's step it up a little bit while we're in splendid isolation whenever we can be, like me on my four days off now. And let's entertain each other. I love to watch all your videos. It is my absolute relaxation. Some of you I watch in the daytime and others I watch at night time and... Um, you know, so Johnny Roman and the toy car case will be a morning activity. It wakes me up with his loud, brash fun. And then when it comes to settling down with a nice drop of something cold and uh, a few snacks, I, I choose uh, Gary's Hot Wheel collection. Total, total relaxation and pleasure. So what I'm suggesting is that we've got a wide spectrum We've all got different personalities and all very similar. Um, we're all friends. Let's up our work rate while we're off. And let's entertain each other in the best way we know forward. So, Mick67. Awesome. He's gone mental this time. He's done it in the past, don't get me wrong. But he was out and about uh, a week or ten days ago before the lockdown really started here. And they found... G-Case, um, and he found it more or less in his area, I think, before 
most other people did so he got me some as i did when the d case first came out i live up north mick lives down south they're on the g case my toast stores just reopened after a remodeling and all their flogging is d case so i'm way behind the south now but anyway let's go with some loose castings that he sent me and there are enough of these these are unknown to me other than the actual thing it is i mean here I was saying only a couple of weeks ago that I'd not had a configuration of Volkswagen Camper like this with the extended head height. And Bob's your uncle, he sent me a pretty darn immaculate casting. I'm not going to tell a lie and say it's the greatest detail I've ever seen. And as you can see, the windows be all around the blacked out so that means there's no interior it's a very lightweight piece it has got that beautiful detailing on the front that i can pick out but i am totally clueless as to what this is i have decided very early into the looking at this that these wheels will have to go it's not that they're bad i could use them on something else and will do however they're not volkswagen wheels and i have got two mega packs of green light volkswagen wheels so this will be a wheel swap and i shall show you the net results of that let's make, make it look a bit more original and there we go i'm looking on the base and straight away i can read my style volkswagen camper made in china i like it i really do it's a volkswagen it doesn't matter what it is it's that that tells me everything i need to know so yeah, I'm going to do a Volkswagen Flying Saucer Ubcap wheel swap to make it look hellishly different and the whole heap better. Mick, awesome mate, thank you so much. Moving on, here's my main source of bone shakers. Um, I wish I could read what that says on the on the side there for you. I haven't got this one. It's a lovely silvery grey. It actually looks like a mouse as a pirate. I can see that much. But I couldn't say what it, it says. Lovely complimentary red wheels. That typical configuration. In good nick. Uh, ooh. Mick, I'm absolutely thrilled with this one. I haven't got it. It's a good roller. Not that that matters to me. I don't do the roly roly thing. <sighs> he had this just about to go up on eBay. He said, have a look, see if there's anything you want before I get flogging. And although it's got a very buckled post there, opposed to one very straight one, that can be resolved. Obviously, the roof's caved in a bit. I've got a knack of gently persuading these things back into shape um, by holding it in my vice. A lot of Europeans and Asian collectors might not know what this is. I would think there's not too many people of a certain age in America that doesn't know that this is a pacer. And for some bizarre reason, I <laughs> love the pacers. I think they were space agey for the time. I think there's not another car on the road that looks like them. This one will be fully restored. It's going to have to be because of the caved in roof and that pillar. As always, I will endeavour to show you them. It's just that now I'm back at work after eight and a half months of being off ill after operations. I'm finding it hard to juggle my time and get things done as I'd like. So... When there's something to know or something to see, you will be made aware of that. But for now, this, this wheel swap on here will be a quick, easy one to do. This is a Corgi Junior and it's the AMC Pacer, as I said. I absolutely adore that. But I will give that a full sympathetic restoration. And I've seen that so many times in America done in a simple yellow or orange I don't have too many orange cars. Not that orange is a favourite colour, but I would like to do that justice. And talking of restoration work, 
It is a beautiful, beautiful, very weighty casting with accurate wheels on um, for this particular generation of Volkswagen Golf. Um, hammered to death, loved to death, play one, call it what you will. Uh, it's got one, one eye missing. Um, like the Chinese man, one eye gone. Um, terrible joke, please forgive me. But there is uh, some beautiful castings on there that says Golf S. Nice headlights, uh, license plate. I'm not quite sure what that malarkey is on. It might be a bike rack and a towage. But I can see, whoops, that that rear hatch opens. Beautiful piece. I don't know whether to keep it in this state. As I love the wheels. That is original. Or do I? I don't care for the golf logo, but I think this might be a full sympathetic restoration. I'll keep it original colour. Do a nice red on it. Let's have a look what we got. Oh, good job, Major Rat. Made in France, and there's a official license which means they trusted them enough to do this model and I'd say there was well placed trust because it is a lovely weighty cast metal on metal don't quite know what that aperture was for uh, no date on it it is an old piece I can tell that but that's yeah beautiful beautiful majorette I like that or what die, what die cast do calls my red Anyway, major at it is in England. Baja Bone Shaker. You saw on one of my Bone Shaker cases that I have four castings of the Bone Shaker because they fill in them big windows at the bottom. I haven't got a black one, got a dark blue one, and I thought it was that particular casting. Um, no, it isn't. So, again, Mick, you've excelled yourself finding me one of these. Why it? Uh... Brilliant. Having a moment with that, that's going in the case as is. Well, I don't know what the heck this is, but I did think to myself, no, not a wonderful world. It was very golf-like, and I wonder if I keep this as it is, although it does seem to be missing a couple of fenders there. Hmm, should I lose them fenders or should I just display it like that? Oh, I don't know. The dilemmas. Don't like the wheels at all. They suck. Um, But I've got some tampos and I'm wondering if I could hastily convert this to a golf car. Get this name off the side there. Change the wheels. Put some golf tampos on it. Cheeky way of getting another golf vehicle. Golf. Golf, golf. Yeah, you can see. I don't know. Is that supposed to be like that? Is that a concept? Looking at it now, I think that's maybe a concept. What is it? Can we find out? Well, I can see Malaysia. I can see the Hot Wheel emblazed there in chrome. Is that Nitro? Nitro Evil, I think. Have a look yourselves, look. Can you see that? Tilt it in the light. Nitro Evil. Never seen it, never heard it, but it looks like a golf car in the making there. So we just might end up doing that one. Interesting. Unusual. I'm liking this one. Uh, castings a little primitive. Uh, they've tried filling in some lines there with paint. Again, we've got a hatch there, look, that won't stay up, as is the norm. Oh, there we go. Little bit of detail on the back there. Suggestion of a badge. I'm saying this is a golf. My best guess is this is golf, but 
I don't know who manufactures this. The wheels aren't anything other than generic. Golf. Uh, Golf IV. So that would be. Is that Golf 6? I being 1, 5 being V. So I think that's a Mark 6 GTI Golf. It's a major at one. Again. Um, how the times change. Nowhere near as good a casting as that one. It's got potential, but I think I'm going to have to chuck this one in the stripper and change the wheels. I can make something of it, but in its current state, it's not too appealing. And that's not saying that, Mick, you've done me wrong. You actually showed me it. And I said, yes, I'll take that one. But I always had the notion from the photographs that I would... Probably have to do something with that to make it a little bit more realistic. But yeah, appreciate it as always. This crazy fella. Wow. Uh, don't know what it is. It's quite concepty look. Red glass that sort of comes around and there's a roof rack on there like it's some sort of desert racer. Expedition model, I'm clueless. I like it, it's in good nick, it's clean. But as to what it is, I do not know. Well, it's a Hot Wheels and it's called Bad Mother, so it is an off-road vehicle, obviously. I would suggest something that maybe goes in the Paris Dakar rally, but it's a fantasy casting, so what the hell am I talking about? I don't know, to be fair. Oh, yes, 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 Mickey. I've seen this one in one or two people's collections. I don't have this. I love the red oxide paint against the gold um, bright work and the wheels. A little scuffing on there. I can touch that in. So that disappears. I like it. It's in good quality. Clean in general, um, yeah, beautiful, simplistic bone shaker. And sometimes less is more, and I think this is a case. I think that's a beautiful piece of work. I'll put him alongside the other bone shaker. Look at that, would you? Now, this is one of these smaller castings that Mick often sends me. Beautiful, beautiful front end. However, we are missing the lens deadlights. And as luck would have it, and I can't for the life of me think whose video I saw this week. But basically, there is a certain type of glue that if you put the nozzle into them openings, um, you can pour glue in. And when it dries, it dries clear like lens deadlights. I think, I think... It's Mr. David Johns and some of his fantastic custom work. David, is that correct? Uh, can you make a comment and tell me? That's just a bit of surface smeg, that is. I can clean that off. That's not the paint work. David, can you make a comment below and tell me what glue it is that you use? And I shall try it, hopefully to good effect, and create a pair of lens deadlights for this little beauty which will be going straight in the case. Let's say I'll just clean this. It looks like an old sticker on the side. And I've got some wonderful sticky stuff remover. That's what it's called, sticky stuff remover. Lovely original flying saucer Volkswagen wheels with a VW in there. So absolute quality. Uh, da, 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 da. Com, com, comly. I think that says very, very lightly in the Conroy. Conroy. Yes, you've sent me one or two of these pieces and I love them, Mick. So, David Johns, please tell me which glue to use and I will create some lens deadlights. I feel a sneeze coming on. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologise. Um, Right, well, this video's nearly 20 minutes long and I have so many new castings so I'm going to end this video here for the sake of uploading 
Let's uh, pull in a little bit there. Yeah. I'm going to end this video because I say the man has really, really sent me so many castings loosely and with my chit chat and me coronavirus updatey rubbish. I've waffled on as usual, so I'm going to finish this particular portion. We'll call it part one of Mix 67's Grand Unboxing, and I shall be filming part two. So don't expect too long between um, part one and part two. I shall film them both together. And then I won't make the mistake either of trying to upload two videos at once because it takes more than twice as long. So part one, part two is coming. Please stick here around and look for that. Mick, awesome. And this is just the loose stuff. So God bless you, my friend. And I'll see you all in part two. Stay safe, stay well, stay indoors. Bye-bye.